Those plane rides home from an away game, an away victory, are some of the best times I've ever had in my entire life. And it's all just it's dudes at 35,000 feet with a terrible sound system because you have the... You have somebody's <laughs> cell phone going into that over the plane. And it was just like a cool... It was like real happiness for a lot of people in that on that team. I don't think they experienced a lot of real happiness because of how focused they were on their jobs. There were a lot of older guys. So like their only moments of happiness, I think, were those flights home. Like after a big win, like genuine happiness, their entire life was dedicated to football. So all week, all they were thinking about was the game. And then that trip home, that like three hours, four hours, whatever it was, was like a moment for them just to completely like relax and not worry about next week or the past week, their family, nothing. We're at 35,000 feet, nobody else around us except for us. That is a real moment that I don't think a lot of people uh, know about or appreciate is the flights home from away victories are incredible absolutely incredible that was good times man really good times you got people singing <laughs> my favorite story is of an offensive lineman and uh i won't say his name but he was asked to sing right so if a rookie's asked to sing like you got to go sing so he uh he grabbed the microphone and he for, he didn't know that uh the owner's daughter just so happened to be on the team's oh, plane boy. sitting up in the very front or in the very back so they kind of have it off. So he kind of got comfortable in his current surrounding and didn't know about the entire uh, surroundings. And uh, he grabbed that thing, and he was not expected to sing the song. He, uh, I fornicated two bad ladies at the same damn time. <laughs> <laughs> at the same damn time. At the same damn And then he started feeling it because a lot of people were like, okay, yeah, yeah. Big white guy. Massive white guy. Nobody thought he was going to sing this song. So everybody starts, like, gassing him up. You know, he's like... I fornicated too. He starts yelling into this. <laughs> Sorry, yelling into this thing. And then all of a sudden you see a little assistant from the front come waltzing back <laughs> the aisle and grabbing the phone out of his hand. And he's like, what? Like yelling at him while the thing's still on. So now the entire plane hears him yelling at this assistant. And he like puts the phone down and we're all like, oh no, like no fun. All right. <laughs> and they're like, oh, Carly Ursay's on this plane. We're like, oh. <laughs> Everybody just puts their headphones on, <laughs> sits right back down. <laughs> just an hour and a half of silence. <laughs> that kid thought he was getting cut immediately off the plane. And he did. <laughs> and he did. And he did.